20-year-old Jun Yan is overweight, too overweight. And she's not the only one. She's one of 30 participants in a weight loss boot camp in China. Boot camp helped him. 16-year-old Xiao Kang has dropped 40 kilos since beginning. The 11-year-old Chao Chun has also lost a considerable amount of weight. But not through sport, but with very different methods. Obesity and China. How did these two come to be? The booming country is switching from rice with vegetables to Western fast food. The consequence? Almost a third of China is overweight. Especially children and teenagers are more and more obese. That is precisely why there are more weight loss boot camps sprouting like mushrooms from the ground every day. One of the most renowned, Slim JF Camp, is in Beijing. Junyan is 20 years old, 1 meter 63 and 105 kilos, simply too much. She plans on losing up to 40 kilos here. I began feeling ashamed and stopped going out. It suddenly hit me and I realized this cannot go on. You have to drop weight. Therefore, I'm here. Xun Yan has been part of the camp for 12 days. In total, she plans on staying for 10 weeks. The cost, however, is steep, around 2,400 euros. Camp days have a clear structure. There's breakfast at 7 a.m., always on the watch, the trainer. They oversee and look after the teenagers around the clock. Trainers control what and especially how much the kids eat. The menu is low in fat and salt. Plenty of vegetables at the expense of meat. For the head chef, Jia, sweets are the nemesis. Here and there parents send their kids snacks and sweets or they leave them when they visit. We organize small raids constantly and if we find anything outside the food plan it's confiscated. We're relentless. At home, the teenagers often indulge themselves indiscriminately. At the boot camp, there are clear rules. I had nobody to control me at home, but I appreciate having somebody that controls me a bit, otherwise I wouldn't be able to. Junyan tried several times to drop weight, but almost always she'd gain back what she'd lost a few days afterwards just like most kids in the boot camp. Now, they have six hours of exercise and sport six days a week. Today's first training session, fitness exercises. No dumbbells, they're replaced with their own body weight. That alone is enough of a challenge. 20-year-old Jun Yan is clearly having a hard time. I've tried time and time again to lose weight, but I've never managed to do so. This is the first time that I try working out. It's terribly demanding, but it feels good somehow. As the boot camp keeps training and sweating away, we visit Liu Jia Yao Clinic across the town. A weight loss clinic that tries to help him. Chao Chu, 11 years old, 76 kilos in weight. Chao Chun has been undergoing hospital treatment for a year. He weighed 135 kilos when he was committed into the clinic. His excessive weight has deformed his legs. When I was that fat, grown-ups would tell me I would have diabetes someday if I didn't lose weight, and that they would cut off my arms and legs. That terrified me. But there's something even worse the 11-year-old is dealing with. I don't have any friends. The kids in my class didn't ever want to play with me because, as they say, I'm too fat. His parents weren't able to cope with the situation anymore. As soon as the clinic heard about this case, they offered to treat him at no cost. Otherwise, the treatment would have risen to the 30,000 euro mark. Highly obese people need medical assistance. Working out would be counterproductive, in my opinion, since it would have a negative impact on the extremities. That's why I believe in our therapy methods based on Chinese medicine. An interesting difference. In contrast to the weight loss boot camp, the clinic does not focus on sports and exercise, but on traditional Chinese medicine. One of the many treatments, cupping. According to the Chinese doctor, it stimulates digestion and fat burning. I prefer this much more to walking on the treadmill. Afterwards, I'm always really tired, but this is much nicer. 
From one treatment to the next, again, we're not surprised. I sleep a little while she does this. It's always so nice. What follows shouldn't be tried at home because it requires medical assistance. A towel, a mixture of alcohol and herbs, and... a burning child. The 11-year-old Chao Chun seems to enjoy it. With fire, the skin on the belly can absorb the mix of Chinese medicines and alcohol, and the heat stimulates the burning of fat cells. The Chinese doctor swears by this method. Every year, the clinic treats dozens of people with weight problems with success. Being overweight is not a problem specific to China. The whole world is getting fatter. Nearly one in three is overweight. That is more than two billion people in the world, which is as much as the entire population of China, India and Germany combined. In addition, more and more people worldwide are obese. The country leading with 36.5%, the USA. In Germany, it's significantly less than the US, but is already 14.7% with an increasing tendency. Meanwhile, the sweating continues at the boot camp. Three months of the camp cost around 2,800 euros, a lot of money. But more and more Chinese parents from the middle and upper classes are willing to pay for it. On average, 800 children and teenagers visit the camp each year. Many of them are critical cases, but nobody gives up here. The coaches support them wherever possible. The important thing is that the students learn to believe in themselves. When they start here, they're often frustrated, but they see in other students that it's worth it and that they can also do it. While 20-year-old Junyan is at the beginning and still has 10 weeks boot camp to go, we meet with someone who is already much closer to his goal. Xiao Kang has been in the camp for the past 12 weeks. He shows us what he looked like when he came here. At that time, he weighed 135 kilos. Since having started, he's dropped 40 kilograms, almost a third of his original weight. For him, surely, a huge success. I don't like my old self at all. Of course, I'm afraid that I'll regain the weight when I'm out of here. But if I continue like this, then everything will be fine. My belly was so big. Now, it's a lot more flat, which makes me proud. Still, it takes Xiao Kang a lot of courage to show his body. I hate the hanging skin. I'd like to get rid of it with an operation, but my mother says I should continue to try with exercise. Xiao Kang will stay in the boot camp for another three months. He hopes to lose another 20 kilograms and build some muscle mass. The objective in the boot camp is to consume between 3,000 and 4,000 calories every day. In comparison, an average man with a height of 1,80 m consumes about 1,900 calories per day without much activity. Here we go everybody, five push-ups. The relationship between coaches and kids in the camp is cooperative. Even a little extra workout routine isn't that bad every now and then. The push-ups are actually for the losing teams. Every now and then there's something for everyone. Unfortunately, he's right. Lunch time and again, light food. During the day, the kids are allowed to eat 2,000 kilocalories. It might sound like a lot, but with six hours of physical activity per day, it's just enough to feel full, but not enough to tip over. While the boot camp may help drop up to 40 kilograms in just three months, it takes a year for the same results in a weight loss clinic. The most important dieting component here is Chinese medicine. The special ingredients in this drink curb the appetite and control hunger. For the Chinese doctor, the Non Plus Ultra are recipes with ginger and ginseng. They help stimulate the metabolism and burn the fat. In contrast to the boot camp, hunger is present in the clinic. 11-year-old Xiao Chun is only allowed to eat 1,200 calories a day. The herbal drink won't help him feel full either. 
I do not really like that. It tastes bitter, but I have to drink it. Chao Chun is currently the only child in the weight loss clinic. That can make things hard for him. He's not allowed to leave the clinic and he sees his parents only once a month. Once I've lost more weight and can go home, I want to make friends. And I want to go back to school and study. Only 10 to 15 percent of heavily obese children manage not to gain back the weight lost. The patients aren't trained on how to deal with the dreaded yo-yo effect. On your marks, go! Back in the boot camp. Last training session of the day, a four-kilometer run through the forest. For the teenagers in the camp, the physical strain is extremely high. Up to six hours of exercise per day. Newcomer Jun Yan is also struggling. She's only been in the camp for 12 days. For her, this is the first time in her life that she pushes her body to its limits. Recently, I couldn't even go up a small hill and now I'm already running for small stretches. When going out with my family to the countryside, I always took the car. I feel so much better now. At the end of the day, however, all teenagers are relieved to finally be able to rest. Only one thing remains. The weigh-in. Every two days, the trainers measure and weigh the participants. This is how they document their progress and motivate them to continue. Xun Yuan has already lost six kilos in her 12 days at the camp. Is she satisfied with the latest result? At least 1.5 kilos. 1.5 kilos, that's good. 8 p.m. The day is over at the boot camp. For many, the energy to share and watch TV isn't there anymore. Nevertheless, Jun Yan is glad to be here. I noticed after such a short time here that my face and my belly have become a bit slimmer. The boot camp is good for me, it brings order to my life. I hope that I will maintain this rhythm even after I leave the camp and achieve my goals. I want to lose 40 kilos. Once my mother picks me up, I hope she's really surprised and doesn't recognize me. Until then, he will continue to train at the weight loss boot camp in China. <laughs>